shaking, releasing anything that's uncomfortable. Do an experiment with me. Shake your right hand for about 10 seconds. Shake as much as you can, like you mean it. Really shake. And then after you're done shaking, you want to hold both hands and notice the difference between your shaking hand and your non-shaking hand. Oftentimes, simply put, the shaking hand feels better. We're going to do an experiment to shake through every part of the body, starting with the right leg. And just notice, as we start to shake, do we start to feel better? Animals do this in nature. As you switch to the other leg, shaking, as I tell you the story about a gazelle, Gazelle's running through the grasslands, being chased by a lion. The gazelle gets away. Instead of holding on to the fear, to the trauma, shaking both legs. So what the gazelle does is it shakes. It releases the past so it can come back into the present moment, back to its essence, back to being a gazelle. Shaking your legs as much as you can, maybe a little air under your feet, and feeling the release that happens as you move your body with intention to release and to let go. Laying down, shaking your legs wildly in the air. And there's this amazing opportunity here to just notice, does it work? As you're shaking, do you feel better? Do you feel the sense of release? If you did the shadow dance before this, which is often where shaking comes after in a Koya class, that's why it's there to honor the depth of that feeling, but to not get stuck in it. Starting to shake your hips like a happy puppy, wag your tail. And shaking your hips until you release a layer of inhibitions, until you release any clenching. Shaking your hips until you feel a little bit more free. And then bringing that up into the belly, just like our ancestors never needed to take a dance class to learn how to dance around a fire finding that part of your body that just knows how to release through movement. And bringing that shaking up into the heart. And notice, again, does it work? As you move your body, can you physically sense an energetic shift, a release? Imagine any worries falling off your back like water in the shower as you shake them off. It's in our language. Shake it off. Let it go. What does it feel like when you do? And as you shake through the arms, not only releasing through your body, it's like the idea of compost. Giving whatever doesn't serve you back to the earth. The earth loves it. Human bodies don't love holding on to it so much, but the earth does. Starting to feel the whole body shake, whole body release. Really imagining in your mind's eye, giving it back to the earth, to the ground, to the trees, to the sky, to the ocean. Taking a breath, inhale, arms up. And after a few minutes of shaking, if it works for you, taking that with you anytime you need it. For more information on Koya, to find a class near you, to do free Koya classes online, to see our amazing retreat schedule, or learn about our teacher training program, visit us at koya.love.